Hello everyone, I'm Dale from Plant Force Rentals. I deal with all the machine control training for the business and we're here at Western Supermare at the training facility in the demo area at the, at the college. Um, got a 20 tonne machine and the new Trimble Earthworks system. So one of the things I get asked on social media quite a lot is about infield design. Um, infield design is creating your own design that is off of the specified design that you might be working to. Um, there could be any number of reasons why why you might need to do this, whether it's temporary batter works or uh, drainage that might not be on the plan, um, or like a V ditch or something, uh, which you might need to create. So obviously, it's not specified on there. There's no engineer on site to give me start or finish points. So I just need to create my own. And also you've got the as build data which comes back to say that you dug this there and then and when. Um, so first of all, to create an infield design for this demonstration, I'm gonna create a V ditch to uh, let's pretend we're gonna alleviate some flood water from the center of the site into a drainage ditch off the edge. Um, so I'm gonna create a V ditch. So first of all, I need to change my dig mode. So go into job center setup. You can see I'm in the plant force demo area and I'm on a design. I need to change it to infield design and you can see there's none selected. So I'm gonna to go to designs. There's one I've done earlier and I'm gonna create a new design. Gives you three options, templates, which are previous designs that you might have done, which might work well with whatever you're doing now. You've got a focus point on the bucket, which takes a, a reference point from the bucket or you've got points which you could have stored earlier, whether it's a service or something, or you're going back digging out manos that were perhaps buried. Um, for this, I'm gonna use focus. Need to be important to say the focus point on the bucket, um, whether you're doing a curb race or you're working up to an edge of a trench, then you, you can go to the right. For drainage runs, you wanna be in the center or any sort of reference if you're unsure, then go to the center. For this, I'm going to the center. So what I need to do is store my first point. So I'm gonna just put the bucket where I think my trench wants to start, whether it would be a mano or something like that. Right, so first of all, I'm gonna track over here. I'll just put my bucket down here. And I'm gonna store my first point. And you can see the Norvings, the Eastings, and the elevation in the top corner of your first point. So I'm going to store my second point, which is usually where you want a mano or you want a bend in the trench to be. I'm going to store it there, so that's my second point. And then I'm going to run a trench just down the run of the drainage ditch there, and I'm going to store my third point. So. over and store my uh, third point. Again, obviously you only want to store points where your mano bends, uh, where your trench bends, or you want to install a mano for any number of reasons. Exit point on the uh, drainage ditch there is where I want to store my last point. And that's it, storing the points. So this is a uh, top down view, so I'm looking down on my trench line. Uh, and you can see somewhere along here that if you're doing a drainage V ditch, then you don't want 90 degrees, so you can manipulate this now. Now you've got the points stored, you can move them around to however you want them to be. So you just press and hold it, and you drag it to maybe less of a of a bend. If you're doing manos, then that's fine, 90 degrees is okay. Um, my first point is too much of a bend, so I'm gonna bring that and just manipulate it how I feel that I want my trench to be. And if you're doing batter works, and stuff you can use it to manipulate a batter to, to however you want it. Um, down here is the lock to grid. So each one of these grids 
you can lock to or reference to so if you want it unlocked and you want to go in between the lines you just keep it unlocked if you want it locked to a certain point to give you a, an exact measurement then just lock it and that's that done so then we need to work on the elevation so this is a uh, so on here you've got the manos so, so, or, or starting and finish point of your trench the start point on this side and the finish point on this side um, so say for example I'm doing a V ditch I obviously want a nice gradual fall on it I always find it's better to pull it down and then go back up to get it more accurate so I'm going to add a little bit of fall that fall is only worked between the last point and the end point but obviously with drainage I want a consistent fall from there to there so I'm just going to snap it to grid and you can see it just moved slightly which gave me a consistent fall between the two points obviously for water to run you need a percentage fall so that's the elevation done so now we're doing the profile view so this is if you're looking at your trench end on the shape and the profile you would want your trench to look like again you can do it by a template or you can use the bucket as a focus or you can drag and drop it on the screen um, you'd use a focus if you were uh, you already had a pre-built trench and you wanted to continue it or you had a formation to guide to you could put your bucket on it and then that would give you the shape of the existing trench well obviously here I've got no trench so it's easier just for me to form my own um, on the screen and the same as the previous screen just press and hold it pull out your line you can see your measurements of the top line and then as I said we'll oh, do that one again lock it onto the target that's that done and then my second point obviously I said we were going to do a V ditch so I'll just form the basic profile view of a V ditch get it nice and straight I've already done my falls last of all screen will move as you create it bigger so there you can see looking head on that's what my trench is going to look like so all these points will eventually be line work in the uh, eventual model one of the things I get asked is a lot of people get to this point but then they may not want to work to this line or this line they want a center line so all you do is press and hold that one and you add another point and it puts another point in between the two points exactly which you can then manipulate so if you need to go a bit to one side or a bit to the other side um, that's fine so that's my profile done of the v-ditch just click the next screen and you can see a plan view uh, a flat view of the trench that I've just created if you go to 3d you can see there's a nice little model of that trench now obviously this is only for dem demonstration purposes so it's quite short but if that was a batter or uh, a muck heap you wanted to form or or a drainage run you would do it over a, a much bigger area so as I was saying about the line work if you press this one here it'll guide to the next line or you press that again it'll guide to the bottom of the trench and you can see then look there's the centre line the centre line of the trench if you wanted to use that or you can use whichever you want to um, and then that's all you need to do is name that one so I'm going to name it V ditch and save it and then I'm going to select it there and then select and you can see now I'm working on an infield design on, on V ditch I'm going to apply it wait for the model to catch up and there you can see a nice little V ditch ready to start digging. Very different views. And a nice little fall on it as well. And that's it. I hope it helps some. Some it may not, but that's my way of doing it. Thank you. Bye.